In this video, we'll be talking about finding the radius of a circle if you're given just its diameter, or if you're given just its circumference, or if you're given its area. So first, let's draw a sketch. We like to draw a sketch when we can. It helps us out. So we've got a circle. Uh, that's, that's a circle. And the diameter. The diameter is the distance across the middle. That's the diameter, and we know that the radius is half of that distance across the middle. So we've got, got this r distance. So we could put that into a formula. We could say that the diameter equals 2 times the radius, or just divide each side by 2, and we get the radius equals the diameter over 2. Excellent. What about the circumference? The circumference is that distance around that circle. So circumference, we know that formula is 2 pi r. So all we have to do with this one is to divide each side by 2 pi so that we can get r by itself. Okay, what that gives us then is r equals the circumference divided by 2 pi. Great. What about if we are given the area? It's just a, a little bit more to do with that, but it is really not difficult. Area, the formula for the area equals pi r squared. So, first thing we need to do to get r by itself, well, we need to divide each side by pi. So what we'll be left with is a over pi equals r squared. Remember, this is r squared here. So now we have to take one more step to get r by itself. So we'll take the square root of each side, and we're not going to say plus or minus on this one. Technically, you would if you take the square root to solve in an equation, but we know that we would throw out the negative because uh, the radius is a distance, and we're not going to have a negative distance. So the radius, then, is the square root of the area over pi. Now, all these formulas work, so these would work by uh, memorizing these radius formulas, and it depends on how your brain works. I prefer to just memorize just these formulas and then get to the radius um, by, by solving after I plug the numbers in. You may prefer to memorize these formulas and then just plug the numbers in here. Whatever way works for you is the right way. That's an important concept uh, in math and in a lot of um, education is that what works for you is, is usually the, the right way because um, people's minds work differently. So let's do, let's do just a couple of examples. Let's say that the circumference equals 25 inches. Well, if the circumference equals 25 inches, we'll just use this formula, or we could use this formula. And let's, because I, I solved for r already, let's use this formula over here, r equals c over 2 pi. So we have r equals the circumference over 2 pi. And then we could simplify that. So the radius would be approximately equal to 3.98 inches. Okay, and that was, that was just using this formula. Now, notice what we would do. If we had plugged in 25 equals, I'm using this formula now, 25 equals 2 pi times r, then we would have to divide each side by 2 pi to get r by itself. And that's exactly what we did here. And, and the reason I'm making this point is because I want you to feel comfortable uh, solving for the radius even if you don't memorize these formulas. It's okay if you don't memorize these formulas. These are the formulas that you do have to memorize. You have to know this. Okay. Well, I hope that helps, and, um, and good luck.